All right, so I have uh, 15 pound mono backing, 65 pound braid, and a 17 pound fluorocarbon leader. I spent an hour this morning trying to learn how to tie the knots. I'm an hour behind schedule. The sun's already coming up. But I'm still gonna try and fish this damn jig. I watched a bass boat just go through here and fish it. They have a whole lake, but of course they have to fish right here at the park on a Saturday. Because nothing says it's the weekend like high pressured fishing spots and guys in boats fishing the only place us non-boat fishermen boatless anglers i'm totally fucking frustrated let's just go fishing Here's my jig. I'm using a black and blue jig with a small craw trailer. 17 pound test fluorocarbon. Here's that damn knot I spent an hour this morning learning how to tie. Let's see if I can get something. I'm going to try not to reel that leader knot up into the guide every time I want to fish. So. I don't know if that'll weaken the knot or not. This is 65 pound braid. I think it's 65 pound braid. I was in such a hurry this morning. Look at those guys in the bass boat fishing the edge of the public park when they have, I don't know, hundreds and eight hundreds, probably thousands of acres of water. But you know, who cares? All I'm trying to do is learn how to fish a jig. So, good luck in your $20,000 boat. All right, here we go. I'm, let me check my drag. There we are. I need to keep in the back of my mind that if I get a bite, I need to set the hook upwards. I have thinned out the weed guard on this jig. You can see all these bristles are really short because I clipped them off. I also trimmed this weed guard to just before the barb. I'm trying to do a, you know, I'm trying to modify it uh, based on all the tips I got in my other jig video, getting jiggy with failure. So hopefully my game is up to enough for me to hook a damn bass on a jig. If I can get my thing untangled. I'm just all sorts of frustrated this morning. All right. Getting here and seeing uh, guys in a bass boat fishing right at the launch. I mean, they beat me to it, but come on, you're in a boat. Go where the fish are. So in fishing this jig, I need to uh, keep in mind to set the hook upwards, keep my drag tightened. Uh, I trimmed the weed guard. I have a trailer. I'm not sure which other 10 things I need to keep track of in order to fish a fishing lure. Um, but I'm trying to up my game based on the comments I received on my video. I'm considering running back to the car and getting some scent. Oh, I also need to remember to reel down. Reel down until the line I can feel the fish, then set the hook up.
I'm gonna go get the scent out of the car. Got my scent here. Put some on my jig on the way down. All right, let's go through my jig fishing checklist again. All right, I got a mono backing, braided mainline, fluorocarbon leader, a trailer on my jig, a trimmed weed guard. I need to set the hook upwards if I get a bite after I reel down until I feel him. My drag is tightened. All right, that's like a 10 point checklist just to fish a damn fishing lure. Hopefully I can catch something. Plastic bag. At least I can have caught something. Well, that might be the end of this jig. Dink. Let's see if I have any leader left. If my, oh, look at all those bubbles. I moved it, whatever it was. Let's see if I have any leader left. Or if that's where the line broke, was that my knot? Nope, I still got my leader. All right, well, I haven't caught anything so far, but I have learned something interesting. This Albright knot is holding. The uh, leader feels good. It broke right at the lure. 17 pound test fluoro. I'm gonna get a new jig on here. I guess I'm gonna keep trying. All right, so I've tied on this new jig. I'm gonna try this white jig black and white jig with a natural brown and orange craw trailer. I got a little bit of the crayfish scent, the little mayhem squeeze bottle on here. I'm not exactly sure what shape this jig head is. It's almost flat, but it has a little, like a droplet shape. We'll see how it goes. Actually, I'm gonna fish somewhere else. Again, smoker. Snapped it off. That's two jigs in about one hour. I hate jigs. Oh, hey guys, what are you doing? Hey guys.
I've been fishing for about one hour. I've already lost two jigs. I'm completely frustrated. All right, so I'm driving to Dick Sporting Goods, Gander Mountain Academy. I'm gonna go look for jigs on sale. This, I'm just so flustered with this stupid thing. And I know I'll probably never catch one as long as I hate the experience, but I'm up to like 15 lost jigs. I lost three jigs in my last two fishing trips, maybe more. I might be subconsciously blocking them out of my memory because I'm so frustrated and hate them so badly. But I'm on my way to the sporting goods store. I'm gonna stop at a few, maybe even Walmart to see what kind of jigs they have and how much they cost. This is the stupidest thing ever. It's taken me 30 years and it has reduced me into a bumbling, a bumbling idiot. All right, let's find these jigs. Jigs, all right. Strike King, 549, ha ha ha. Yeah. All right, where's the cheap jigs? Still 429. I can't I can't afford that at the rate I lose them. I need like a dollar 50. All right. Hoppy's flea flicker finesse jig. 3/16. That's so small. I'm gonna try it though. Let's. Here's one quarter ounce finesse jig. I'll try a couple of these. These look neat though. Weedless jig heads. They're round, but I'm gonna try that. So here's what I'm gonna stick with. These uh, weedless jig heads, which might work. I could put like a craw in there. A small craw and fish it like a jig. Uh, and these two finesse jigs. All right, I also found this stroker. I guess that's a stroking jig. It has that diamond shaped head. I think this is for uh, pulling it up off the bottom quick and letting it sink, pulling it up, letting it sink at $1.79. I think I'm gonna try it. All right, so I'm leaving Academy. I got, I think, three or four kind of jigs, a stroking jig and a couple of finesse jigs and these other interesting jig heads that have a brush guard on them. Maybe I can mess with those. I don't know if that would count though, but let's go to the next store. All right, here I am at Dick's Sporting Goods. I'm here to check out what kind of jigs they have. Hopefully they have a nice selection of jigs at a decent price because I'm not trying to go broke. All right, since I'm gonna get a couple of, I'm gonna get a Havoc and a Yum Cross for trailers, I think I'm also gonna get three of these Jawbone jigs now. We'll see how they do. I get this uh, quarter ounce black and blue. Looks like a flipping jig. Also this half ounce brown and black. And three eighths ounce. 3A sounds red and black. So I'm leaving Dick's Sporting Goods. I got three Jawbone brand jigs. I'm not too familiar with those, but we'll see what they can do. I also got some craws for trailers since you had to buy five to get them at $2 each. All right, I'm off to Gander Mountain. All right, here at Gander Mountain, let's see if they got any jigs at reasonable prices. All right, so I'm leaving, leaving Gander Mountain. They didn't have any jigs on sale. Their cheapest jig was $3, I think. I can get two Arkies for $3, so I think I'm passing on that. Uh, next stop, Walmart. All right, here I am at Walmart. Arky Bass Jigs, this is what I'm looking for. Look at this one, Crawling Grub. I'll 
try one of these. I've never seen this before. I'll try this one. We've got these Lucky Strikes up here. $1.96 little football head jig. That's what I'm looking for. We got Booyah, Baby Boo. I think that looks like a good one to try. 5 sixteenths ounce. All right. All right, so I went to uh, four stores, Walmart, Academy, Dick's Sporting Goods, and Gander Mountain. I didn't get any jigs at Gander Mountain, but that is what it is. All right, I'll go through the jigs and show them to the camera when I get home. All right, I'm back at the house now, and it's time to see what I got. Actually, it's time for some beer. Uh, drinking beer is for adults. I am not using it to cope. It's a joke. For you guys, I suggest something like this. Gummy cola bottles. Candy is delicious. Land shark. Makes me think I'm on vacation. Uh, down by the Gulf, fishing salt water, having a good old time, but I'm not. I'm here in my home fishing studio talking about jigs. Let's get into this unboxing. First of all, from Academy. What do we have? I'm just gonna dump them all out. I got Academy there. I got Dick's Sporting Goods right here. I got Walmart over here. I just don't want these bags. I just don't want these bags in the shop. All right, so first, Academy. I got this. Hoppy's Stroker, the ultimate casting jig stroker. What kind of a name is Stroker? So this is a three quarter ounce casting jig, according to this. Uh, stroking a jig, I think that means, you know, pulling it up off the bottom and letting it fall back down. So it has a, a pretty neat diamond head shape. I don't know if you can see that. It's fairly heavy and I like the color. It's got a very big wide gap hook. So it'll be fun to try this. Next I have two of these, both in quarter ounce. I'll show you one of them. Hoppy's Flea Flicker, a finesse jig for bass. This is quarter ounce, blue and black finesse jig. It's got a pretty small jig head, a uh, smaller hook, smaller weed guard. We're going to have to give this a try. One more from Academy. That's these weedless jig heads. So these are pretty cool. These jig heads have brush guards. I've not seen these before. So it doesn't have the skirt and all the fun stuff, but you know, you put a crawl on there with the brush guard. This might be a good way for me to practice setting the hook on jigs, because I bet this would work the same way. Moving on to Dick Sporting Goods, Jawbone Tackle Company. I got three jigs. I got a quarter ounce, black and blue. 3 eighths ounce, similar looking jig, black and red. This one isn't quite as pointy, so it's probably a swim jig. Here we go, half ounce again, looks like a swim jig. They're just calling it a skirted jig with a weed guarded hook. Hopefully I can catch something on this, but odds are I'm going to snag it and lose it. 
I also got some Yum Christy Craws. I was thinking of using these as trailers. Watermelon Red Flake. So I'd probably bite some of this craw off for a smaller jig or leave it whole for a larger jig. I bought these because I had to buy five pieces uh, to get the sale. Here I have some Green Pumpkin, Blue Flake, Bobby Lane Design, Craw Fatty Havoc Craws. I've used these before. They have good action on the uh, claws. And I think for a larger jig they may, might make a good trailer. Uh, they're pretty flat, so they won't you know, cover up too much of the hook. And finally, this Havoc Gary Klein Design Green Pumpkin, The Deuce. Again, a funny name. We got the Stroker and we got the Deuce. So this is like a grub with two tails on it. I picked this up uh, to try it as a trailer. Finally, we got Walmart Lucky Strike Football Jig. This is a quarter ounce. I tried to find something a little smaller. Maybe I can catch a smaller bass. I just want to catch one, one bass. Arky Bass Jig. Three of them. This one's a little different. Uh, three eighths ounce. One green and pumpkin, green pumpkin glitter, kind of dark green and glitter color. Also a black and blue. These also look like swim jigs. I'm not sure though. Actually the head's a little round. Arky Bass Jig Rattle Band. I'm not sure exactly what kind this is. The head is round. Not quite as big as a football jig, but it's definitely not skinny like some of those pitching jigs. Alright, Salty Crawling Grub Jig. I haven't seen one of these before. So this is a like a mushroom head with a craw, plastic craw body already rigged. Uh, this looks like it'll work pretty good. The skirt, the skirt on this is like little rubber appendages coming off of the craw bait itself. So this might look pretty good in the water. Uh, if I catch one on this, I'm still going to count it. And finally, booyah, baby boo jig. 5 sixteenths ounce, so that's close to a third of an ounce. It's got a round head. It doesn't really say uh, what kind of jig this is. I'm, I'm not, I don't know anything really about the jig shapes other than a football jig is shaped like a football and it drags better. And it's, and it's wide, so it might be less likely to fall down in cracks and stuff. So, booyah, baby boo in black and blue. Is that a tongue twister? This is a Booyah Baby Boo in black and blue. All right. Hopefully, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hopefully, one of these eleven jigs will catch me a bass. I'm investing in my future a dollar fifty to two dollars and ninety nine cents at a time. I don't advise that you go out and buy twenty five dollars worth of jigs, but I'm on a mission to catch a bass on a jig. Thanks for watching.